Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. I want to look today at a passage of scripture which has been on my heart over the past few days, the past few weeks, and which I've been speaking over myself, and it's this little scripture. Um, I talked about it a little bit yesterday um, in a Facebook post that I put up there and said, I'm probably going to do a video about it tomorrow. So here it is. It's this verse, Psalm 118, verse 24, and it says, This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And I believe that when you start to apply this scripture to your life, you start to think about it, you start to speak it over yourself, you start to declare it, in your own life, that things will radically change for you, radically change, because when we start our day not really sure of what we believe and not really sure of what we're standing on, then we open up our minds and our lives to all sorts of negativity, all sorts of things that are out there, and we just expose ourselves to, to whatever. But I don't want you to live your life according to whatever. I want you to live your life according to a rejoicing attitude. I want you to rejoice your way into the day that the Lord has given you, okay? We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. I want you to, to claim that for your life today and start to speak it over your day. And get up and in your prayer time, just lift up your hands and say, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And it's um, important sometimes that when we look at scripture, that we change the word we maybe to I so that you can claim that for yourself. So I'm looking forward to hearing stories um, in the days to come from you and in your life and how um, this outlook and this scripture has changed your way of dealing with things, how it's changed your way of um, looking at life. And I really do believe that when you start to speak scriptures like this over yourself, that you'll start to look at the world through um, a positive lens. You'll start to see all the beautiful things. You'll start to see the birds and the skies and the and the trees and the, the beautiful creation all around you um, in motion. And all that God's made and all that he wants to do in your life is going to just become so, so wonderful to you. And um, so let's just pray to finish with. Lord, I thank you for all these amazing people who've been listening to me um, for just a few moments. And I want them to experience all that you have for them, the good things that you have in store for them. May this be a day where they say, I'll rejoice because this isn't just any old day. This is the day that God has made. This is a day that I will rejoice and be glad in. I'll celebrate. I won't be downcast. I won't look down on my situations and on, and on things that I'm going through and on the circumstances I find myself in. But I'll look up knowing that you have them in your hands, Lord God. You hold every detail of my life in your hands. I will rejoice, I will be glad, I will celebrate, I'll lift up a shout of praise. I thank you, Lord, that we can decide to do that today, collectively, as your people. Together, we can rejoice, and we can see the world light up today, and we can bring blessing and hope to many people's lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Have an amazing day, have a great rest of your week, get stuck into church, um, get stuck into your Bible. Um, have some fun, have some good times with your friends and with your family. Have an amazing, amazing week ahead. See you soon. Bye.